y'all, it's me, Alex. Today we are actually at Case's desk because I stole that. Because today I am filming uh, making my own pumpkin spice palette because I still have that Too Faced one and I'm not a huge pumpkin spice lover, but even I know that that's a travesty. And while I might not be a pumpkin spice lover, I am a lover of a beautiful autumnal color scheme. So I'm gonna go through some of my palettes, some of my singles, all of that, to attempt to make one. Now, obviously these are mostly palettes and not singles because I do not have that big of a singles collection, but I do have some ideas in my little brain. I'm thinking we probably go for about nine or 10 shades depending on kind of what I'm feeling. I mean, just make it really vibrant and spicy and fun. And depending on how this goes, I might also do, I think I might do a Halloween theme palette as well. I also have a little kitty underneath my feet, so she might jump up here for attention. Okay, anyway, let's get started. I pulled out the Melt Radioactive palette just because I really, really, truly like this shade Radon here. And I think in terms of spicy pumpkin-y orange shades, this absolutely falls into that category. So to me, I looked at this and I absolutely had to include it. So let's just go ahead and pop that. Well, actually, I realized that I also <laughs> brought out the Menagerie Cosmetics Feral Palette for that reason as well. Actually, those two shades look very, very similar when I'm looking at them. The Radon one is slightly more pinky tone, and I don't know if I want that or... Hello, Ivy, you're on the back of my chair now. Ha <laughs> ha, here's a cat. Okay, you don't wanna be here, cool. So the Radon one is a little bit pinkier and a little bit shimmerier, whereas the Mariposa one is more matte, and I really like that this is just a very matte sort of reds, well, not red, orange. Orange is the color that I'm looking for. I'll begin with Mariposa and then see where I am with the color scheme and come back to Radon. So I'm just keeping track with swatches on this arm. So that's how we're looking so far. I also don't know if the lighting's particularly weird here. I'm trying, but I don't have a good angle to do these sorts of videos at yet. Now, let's see. Let me pop into one of my Urban Decay palettes. So I have, this is the Vice 4, and I know that this isn't like a very 2020 palette at all, but they do have some very nice shimmers in here. And I'm thinking about this specific one, uh, Flame just because that's a very, very gorgeous shimmer. And I look at that and I kind of feel like I can't not include it, you know? So we're just going to bring that in here. Like, look at how that looks on the finger. I don't know how much you can tell, but it's quite beautiful. And that is just a very nice metallic shimmer. Urban Decay does some really good shimmers when they try. There are two specific shades from the ABH and Jackie Ina palette that I think I needed to include, which are Edges and Ginger, because those both fall into a little bit more of the neutrally orange sort of category. That'll kind of go with, you know, whatever it is we end up using from here. So here is Edges, and here is Ginger. I'm going to build Ginger up a little bit. Okay, and those are just gonna be some more neutral shades because I know that pumpkin-y oranges can go a little bit more neutral when you want it to. I think I might do 10 whole shades in this palette, you know? And then I really wanted to get this shade Rookie from the ColourPop Good Sport palette because this has a nice little, it's like a, an orange with a little bit of like a light purpley blue reflect to it when you really look at it in some good light. So let's just, yeah, oh, that is really, really pretty. It's definitely more uh, shimmery like glittery than a lot of other ColourPop shadows, but it goes on very, very beautifully and smooth. This one is more warm tone than the one from the Urban Decay Vice 4. This one is obviously a little bit lighter, but those kind of have a similar effect, but this one is a little bit warmer and has a little bit more of a duochrome shift to it. I know I want to use Tigris from the Colored Rain Safari Rain palette here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that one. That's also very nice and metallic. Um, and that one is like very, very orangey. So that's quite nice. I like that one a lot. I was also thinking about kind of like the stem of the pumpkin and some more autumnal colors, just because I feel like this is very one dimensional and I want something that can be a little bit less monochromatic. So I know that I was thinking about this shade from Shroud Cosmetics, which is from 
I forget which bundle this is from, but this is in the shade Artifact. And it is this really nice kind of um, olive -y green type shade. And it's just a very beautiful shimmer. So I am just going to go ahead and use that one as well. Yeah, that is a really beautiful full shade. And it'll definitely help us be able to get some more of a variety in the looks we can get out of this pumpkin spice endeavor. Let me see, because I know I want like some other kind of uh, deeper tones in this. So I do have this Nabla Cutie Berry palette. This one, obviously, as by the name, uh, it's more berry toned, but I think that some of these shades could be kind of pumpkin spicy. I would go for Botanic Juice, but I feel like we have a lot of shades that are kind of like that already. Um, I'm gonna try Blackberry as sort of a deepening up shade. I think that would go pretty nicely. And Nabla's shades are so, so pigmented. Oh yes, and that's like a really nice autumnal, uh, very purpley type shade. And I think if maybe we do that in like a reddish brown or something, that might be good as like a good little combination, like a dark brown or something. Let me take a look at this Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette because I feel like this palette did not get enough credit because it's actually really nice. I know that it's not, like I said with the um, Vice Sport, it's not the most 2020 palette by any means. It's not the most up to date, but it was really, really good quality for its time. And I'm kind of leaning towards like to do a bit of a darker shimmer uh, using the shade Warning up here or Alchemy, but I'm leaning towards Warning because it's a little bit more warm tone, whereas Alchemy is a little bit more pink toned. Let me see. Again, this is really nice and soft. So. Okay, that is definitely like, it goes well with the other shimmers. I don't know if I like it that much though in comparison to some of the others. I don't know, I should have brought myself like a towel or something to wipe off swatches. Live and learn. Okay, so I tried my best to wipe that one off just so I can, you know, make a little bit more room for some shades that I do actually like. Let's revisit the Feral palette from Menagerie because one, at the very least, I could use one of these two shades down here to kind of complement the green that I put in. Because maybe if I do that and bring in, I don't know, maybe a brown from the colored rain or from the Jackie Ina palette, or even maybe the goods, does the good sport have nine? And uh, that one doesn't really have a nice dark brown, but it does have this nice shade here, trophies which is also kind of like the gray greenishness of a pumpkin stem. So I don't know if it would be like better to have that one or to have that olivey green from the Menagerie palette. Cause I think I want to just do like one nice green and one nice dark brown. Hello again, Miss Ivy. You just want attention, but not that much attention. Kitty, do you want to be on camera? <laughs> Hello. She's just gonna be here, I think. Ivy, what do you think? You're good at color picking. You were there for my cat's pick my makeup challenge. What do you think? Do you, which one? Good sport or do you think I should go with Menagerie? I'll let you pick. You're really liking the Menagerie palette, but you're also very interested in color pop. Okay. Sorry, how dare I move my hand? Jesus Christ, cat. Okay, my heart is telling me ColourPop Good Sport. So I'm just gonna use Trophies as my kind of matte greeny gray shade. Oh yeah, that's very nice and foolish. Honestly, this entire Good Sport palette is very autumnal. And as Ivy will probably agree, it was a mistake for ColourPop to discontinue this. So this is a nice like nine pin color scheme, but I do just really want to, hello baby. I do really want to put in like one sort of dark brown just to act as kind of like a deepening shade for the like oranges here. Cause I think that like this one could work, but I know that for some of the more warmer shades that might not blend quite as well. So let me take a look. Uh, Colored Rain versus Jackie Ina. 
So I'm guessing that the shades I would use would either be Credit or Matriarch. And the more that I look at Matriarch, the more that is like a very dark, cool tone brown that I think would kind of blend a little bit too much with the shade I got out of the Good Sport palette. So I think if we use Credit here, that would kind of blend a little bit more with the shades that are already there. Yeah. I like that. I like the mattes in this palette. I think it's quite good quality. And this is like so spicy. This is such a pumpkin spicy palette. I like this color scheme a lot. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm kind of wishing I had gone for one or the other of these two shades and put in a shade like Douala's or like Lioness from Colored Rain. I think I'm going to get rid of this shade and add in one of those. Okay. So I did my best to wipe that swatch off. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with Colored Rain and use the shade Lioness just to, you know, give a bit of a lighter shimmer in here. We have a lot of mid-tone, so that's kind of why I got rid of it. I really like that shade from Urban Decay, but it was so similar to the ColourPop Good Sport one, and I like the formula of the ColourPop one a little bit more, uh, just kind of just enough to justify taking that out. So let's just put in a little bit of Linus and I think, I think we might have ourselves, oh, fuck me. That looks like a beautiful, beautiful shimmer. Oh yes. Okay, that is so creamy. I love it. I think we have ourselves a little pumpkin spice palette that is actually pumpkin-y and spicy, you know? Like I, I definitely had to include like a little bit of a dark purple because that just generally appeals to me, but I think that these oranges are a lot more vibrant than like the Too Faced one, which is what I was really trying to do like a better version of. Cause I look at that one and it's so not pumpkin spicy, but this, this I think is, I think that this is a good combination. Let me go back through and tell you specifically which shades each one is just for reference, if you're interested in any of these shades and where I got them from. So firstly, we have Mariposa from the Menagerie Cosmetics Feral Palette. We have Lioness from the Colored Rain Safari Rain Palette. This palette uh, is no longer available as a palette, but I'm pretty certain they have it as singles. Next up are Edges and Ginger from the Anastasia and Jackie Ina Palette. I don't know if this one is still in stock, but if it is, you should get it. It's great, at least to support Jackie, it's great. Next up, we have the shade Rookie from the ColourPop Good Sport palette. This one has also been discontinued and I don't know if ColourPop has this as a single. This one is Tigress from the Colored Rain Safari Rain palette. Then for the green, we have Artifact from Shroud Cosmetics. That one is obviously available as a single or you can get it as a part of a bundle with some other very beautiful shades that I really, really like. Then we have Blackberry from the Nabla Cutie Berry palette. This one is still available, it is permanent. Then Trophies from the ColourPop Good Sport palette. And finally, we have Credit from the ABH and Jackie Ina palette. So I know that I kind of repeated some palettes and all of that, but I think that this is a very nice combination of shades to be a little bit more uh, pumpkin spicy for the autumnal season, AKA fall. Anyway, I think, I think I'm about done here. I think Ivy would like my attention. So that's it. Let me know what you thought about my pumpkin spice palette down below. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe down below if you want to see more videos from me and I'll see you on my next one. I hope you'll have a wonderful day. Bye!